In this video, we will be seeing examples of converting from one concentration unit to the other. So if we're given the mass of a solute, 14 grams of methanol, and the mass of the solvent, in this case water, we can calculate the mole fraction, the mass percent, and the molality. In order to calculate the molarity, the density of the solution has to be given. So we're going to see uh, why we need to do that. Basically, we're going to need to solve for the volume given the density, and we'll calculate the total mass uh, in order to do that. So in this case, again, for molarity, the density has to be given. So I'm just going to process through this problem and the mole fraction, we often abbreviate as X. So A, uh, in order to solve for the mole fraction, we need the moles of the solute, moles of methanol, divided by the total moles. So in order to calculate the moles of methanol, we will start with the grams of methanol that's given and we're going to need the molar mass for that so if we add carbon which weighs 12 to four hydrogens which each weigh one to an oxygen which weighs 16 we get those numbers from the periodic table this turns into 32 grams per one mole and that number is uh, point four, five, six. Here I'm going to write moles of the formula. Ideally I should have written grams of CH3OH per one mole of CH3OH, but that we'll use as the numerator. We also need the moles of water, so 184 grams of water. The molar mass is 18 grams per one mole, and when we do that math, we'll get 10.22 moles of H2O. So we'll come back and use this number quite frequently. That will be used for the molarity as well as the molality. Now if we just plug these values in for the mole fraction, we have 0.456 over 0.456 plus 10.22. When we put this in the calculator, we have to be careful not to take that divided by that plus that. Uh, anyway, if we do this, the value that we get is 0 0.0427. So if we're sticking with three significant figures, here we have three, here we have three. And the key is convert this to moles and make sure the denominator is the total number of moles. So a mole fraction is unitless. And we could leave it as a fraction, but most often we just do the division and convert that into a decimal. The mass percent, everything we need is already given. So the mass percent, we need the mass of the solute divided by the total mass. So we have, uh, I'll just put this down, we need the mass of CH3OH divided by the total mass, and then a percent always means we multiply by 100. So in this case, those masses were given. So this turns into 14.6 grams divided by 14.6 grams plus 184 grams. Again, we have to be careful that we don't enter that into the calculator incorrectly and we multiply by 100. So if we do that, we get 7.35%. So any percent is the part over the whole times 100. The molality C has a very specific definition, and that is, I'm going to call that little cursive M, 
This is always the moles of the solute, CH3OH, and it's divided by the kilograms of solvent, in this case, the water. So we've already calculated the moles of the sol solute, the methanol, and we're given the grams of the solvent, so we'll convert grams into kilograms by moving the decimal in the correct direction. So this turns into 0.456 moles of CH3OH divided by 0.184 kilograms of H2O. And we just do the math there. 0.456 divided by 0.184 gives us 2.48. And we could write moles per kilogram, or we could write the little cursive lowercase m, which is usually sort of italicized. So either one of those would be correct. If we're given masses of solute and solvent, and we're asked for the molarity, we must have the density given because the density is a way to get to total volume. Okay. So, let's back a little bit here. And in order to calculate molarity, I am going to need moles of CH3OH, which we've already calculated, and I'm going to divide that by the liters of the solution. And we're not given the total volume of the solution. The solution is the methanol that's dissolved in the water. Because the density of water is 1, we could say this was point, or 184 grams of water is approximately 184 milliliters, but we're not given the density of the methanol. Instead, we're given the density of the entire solution. So the density here is total mass over total volume. And the total mass is just the sum of the mass given. 14.6 plus 184, and that would be grams. So we're going to rearrange uh, the definition of density, which is mass over volume, and we're going to solve for the volume because we know the density and we know the total mass. So when we solve for the volume, that is going to be our denominator, the volume of the solution. So we kind of have to know what we're doing here. Okay. So we solve from the given density. And I'm going to just rearrange the equation algebraically. Since density is mass over volume, then volume equals mass divided by density. So I have to find this first. And that volume will be the denominator for molarity. We already know the moles of our solute. We calculated that right here. Okay. So the volume of the solution is the mass, which is 14.6 plus 184 grams divided by the density. And the density that was given, 0.855 grams per milliliter, that's going to go down here. So my volume for the entire solution is going to be in milliliters. So if I take the numerator, if I take this and add this to it, so we better just do that, 14.6 plus 184. When I enter that, my numerator is 198.6 grams. 
I'm going to divide that by 0.855 grams per milliliter. And I get this value 2.32. That's how many milliliters we have. So this is point, oh, sorry, 232 milliliters, which becomes 0.232 liters. This value is going to be the denominator in the molarity calculation. So capital M is 0.456 moles of CH3OH divided by 0.232 liters. Recall that molarity always has those two units. So I'm going to divide by a thousand. So the 0.232 is my denominator. I'm going to hit the x to the minus one and multiply that by the 0.456 instead of re-entering those. So in effect, this is 0.456 times 1 over that value. So my molarity is 1.96 molar. And we could re-enter this, and if you take this and divide it by that, we're going to get that value. So the key here is for the density. The density is the total mass, which is given in two different amounts. And the density is total mass divided by total volume. So we have to solve for the total volume. And then that total volume, that's the volume of the solution, which is the solute plus the solvent, that will be our volume for the total solution. And we have to convert that into liters because molarity always has units of moles of solute divided by liters of the entire solution.